The Good Prince Bantukan Epic Marnau An old king ruled over the kingdom of Bumbaran. His kingdom was prosperous, his people were good, and he should have been very happy. But the king was not contented. His heart was full of envy toward his younger brother, Prince Bantukan. Every time someone praised Prince Bantukan, the king frowned and looked angry. Prince Bantukan is so handsome! Prince Bantukan is so good! He often heard the women say, and he would look in a mirror and see with sorrow that he was not good looking. The king grew more angry because he knew that he was not as good as his brother either. Prince Bantukan is so brave, everybody said. The king grew tired of people saying so many good things about his brother while they said nothing nice about himself. The young lady smiled at Prince Bantugan. They allowed him to hold their hands. They gave him their love. But they did not like the older brother, the king. One day, enemies attacked the kingdom of Umbaran, and Prince Bantugan led his men to defend the country. While he was gone, the evil king plotted against the good prince. He issued a proclamation that no one should speak to Prince Bantugan. He added that whoever dared to speak to Bantugan would be killed. Soon, Prince Bantugan returned victorious from battle. But no one met him, no one praised him, and no one even wanted to speak to him. This saddened the good prince. He knew that his brother hated him, so he decided to leave Bumbaran. He preferred to live in other countries and to travel to four lands and forget about his unkind brother. In his travels, he heard about the beautiful land of kingdom between two seas. It was ruled by a good, kind king and his sister, the beautiful and kind princess, the Timbang. Prince Pantugan decided to go there. He traveled through forests and across rivers and mountains, and at last, reached the kingdom between two seas. Prince Bantugan was very weary from his travels, but died the moment he had arrived through the front gate. When the king of the kingdom between two seas heard of the stranger who had died at his palace gate, he and his sister, Princess Dantimbang, went to see the body. Even in death, Prince Bantugan was very handsome. What a handsome young man. I wish I could have spoken to him before he died. I am sure he was as good as he was handsome. How unfortunate that he should die here. Does anyone know who this young man is and where he came from? By his clothes and appearance, he must be a king or a prince. But no one knew who the strange young man was. Though, that didn't stop the princess from falling deeply in love with the handsome stranger. In another part of the kingdom, some parts were talking about the young man and how he died in the kingdom between two seas. Suddenly, they noticed that the part from the kingdom of Pumbaran was silent and sad. Why are you sad, my brother? I lost my master! The priest went to God. He left Bumbaran never to return. I have looked for him everywhere, but have not found him. He is dead, but you can see his body in the palace where he is lying in royal state. Without another word, Prince Bantuga and Part flew to the palace. He saw his master's body in shriek and grief. Master Prince Bantugan of Bumbaran is dead. He who was so good to his people, he defended them in war. He gave them wise advice 
when they were in trouble and cured the people when they were sick. When the king heard what the part had said, he was determined to put the body on a finta and take it himself with all honors to the kingdom of Pumbaran. Princess Tutimbang went with him before the royal party left the kingdom between two seas. The princess asked the part to go ahead of them and notify the king of Pumbaran of their coming. When he told the king about the death of Prince Bantugan, everyone grieved for the good Prince Bantugan. Even the king, his brother, was stricken with remorse and pain. He was full of repentance. He blamed himself for the death of his brother. Prince Madali was a brother of Prince Bantugan and loved him dearly. He volunteered to go to the region of death and bring Bantugan's soul back to his body. The king decided to go with him. They rode on their magic shields and rode up to the sky. For 10 days they flew until they reached their destination. Why are you here? What do you want? We have come to ask today. We shall die as well as the end of the world. Come. But only for a minute. Then you must return to Earth right away. They too tricked the angel of death to go out for a minute. Bantugan, my brother, where are you? I'm here. When they reached the place, the king and the princess of the kingdom between two seas were just landing with the body of Prince Bantugan. Prince Madali transferred the soul of Prince Bantugan from the battle to his body. The body stirred. Then, Prince Bantugan sat up and stretched out as if just awakening from a deep sleep. The people shouted with joy. For many days, they celebrated their return on their beloved prince. Later, Prince Bantugan married the beautiful princess Tantimbang.